If you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, I offer same-day personal tarot card readings for $20. You receive your reading the same day of your purchase. Everything you need to know of details is in the description box below of this video of how to book with me. Thank you so much. Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here and see what does Spirit want to tell you the most today in regards to who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? Now, keep in mind, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node, and it's not going to resonate with all of you. Uh, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. And I do offer same-day personal readings for $20, okay? And uh, I have a bonus tarot channel at Val444 Tarot and a vlog channel at Val Smib. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. All right, Pisces. So right away, they feel really happy, confident, successful with you, okay, or with themselves, either or. They're just doing their thing, taking action, and that's caused them to feel a sense of a new love and have fun and a new chapter, new beginning with themselves, or they're in love with who they're with, or they are in love with you and want a new chapter, new beginning with you, either or here. This could be someone, too, who is also single, independent, and doing their thing, okay? But they don't have to be. Hmm. So right away here, either a few things. If they're connected to you, they're kind of emotionally living a lie with you. Like something's not feeling really good to themselves with you here. Um, some, like emotionally, something's not feeling good. They're, they're not being authentic. They're not being real with you. They don't feel successful with you. At the same time... If you're not dealing with them, it's kind of like um, they don't have any, like they don't want any emotional nothing. They have nothing with you or towards you, okay? Either or. Now, one, they just literally are someone that's like, they are their own competition. They, they just, you know, they fight for themselves. They live their life and plan. Maybe you guys have a healthy competition going on. I don't know. Or they're willing to fight for you. Well, it looks like here that uh, they're choosing to be extremely deceptive towards you. I don't know why about that. They want to fight for you or they're feeling good and whatever, doing their thing. And now they just want to lie, cheat, steal, copy, take and get real deceptive towards you for whatever reason here. Like unless they're not telling you their secrets, maybe they're just not telling you their own secrets about their job, about their work ethic, about what they do. Because at the same time here, it's like they're still being equal. So they could just be hiding the fact that they're like secretive, but they're not going to share anything with you. But the thing is, is like they're also in this energy of trying to make things equal with you or with others in general. They're just kind of someone that's giving. So either or here. Hmm. Well, whatever this is about, it's like a... Ah, it's like a burden that's stressful, but not stressful that they hang on to, but they don't about you and them. It's like they just kind of keep it neutral, but they don't really drop it fully. But they don't allow themselves to get all stressed out about it either and like go through it. Yeah. And so they that's what causes them to kind of keep to themselves, be alone, mind their own business. They're very wise. They do their own thing. You know what I mean? Um, they have a lot of information. They just live their life. They do their own healing and guidance. Um, they could be a therapist or a counselor or a teacher or someone of guidance, or they could be going to someone like that, either or here. They could be sorting out their own stuff that's going on with you and them. I don't know. Oof. Okay, so they ended up going to someone here. And whatever was said there obviously caused them to get more pissed off with you and towards you. So now they want to... Okay, so... Okay. So whether they, you know, are 
whatever it was, being on their own, being a therapist, a teacher, a guide, a counselor, whatever is giving guidance or going to someone like that, or then just being in solitude for a minute and doing pretty well with that. And then it flips. Now they want to start a fight with you. Either they have, you guys are arguing with each other back and forth, or they're so pissed off and irritated and annoyed with you, or they like to bully you and make you feel like crap and start problems with you. Either or here. It looks like that causes them to want to still move forward on a healthy, happy journey with themselves or with you and towards you. Right, for the sake of greed, money, and finances. So they're lazy and they want to find a way to get more money out of you. Unless they're saying they don't want to work with you, they don't like working with you at all. It's either that or they just want to take money from you. And like, you know what I mean? Even though they're independent, they do it them so they can do stuff themselves. They don't want to do that. Ooh, okay, yeah. So they could be using you for literal financial gain, okay? Money, society. There's something about a community. Are they trying to get a whole community to go against you? Or is there a community against them? Like, do they not, like, they don't really care for people in society, but they want to take money out of you and other people and all of that. They're being very greedy. For some of you, you are in a falsely contracted marriage and relationship with them, where it's like, it's strictly just business, but now you guys got to be together to make it, I guess, more successful. But the thing is, is like, are they really making money? Or are they losing it? Is it really working anymore? Or this could be just be business connections and ties, either or here. For some of you, this could be someone that's in their own separate marriage and relationship outside of you, but they're still like, they're, they're, they're connected to you somehow. Whatever it is, they're in this energy where they are extremely guarded and deceptive and irritated and aggressive towards you, but they don't, they're playing the victim when they know they're doing something wrong towards you. Okay. Now for some of you, ooh, it gets messy. It could be, they could be in a, they could literally be in a marriage or relationship with you and be pregnant with you, or they have their own thing with someone else. But it's, like I said, it's messy. If not, it's for their own, the re, they act this way and treat you this way for their own success and public, you know, recognition and wealth and whatever. It's like to make them look good. I don't know. Their own position of power. Yeah. So this is someone that, okay. Inst okay. Yeah. So a few things here. Gang stalking, they send gangs out to you, they send people out to you, they wanna find a way to get groups to go against you. Um, two, are you in an affair with them or are they cheating on you? So either or, or this is a crappy friendship, friend group, false social media stuff, and they're telling you lies but also gossiping about you but pretending like everything's fine or is this someone that you just party with and drink with and do drugs with you know or do they have their own drug problem i don't know either or it could be a whole list but it's very they're not having fun with you or doing any of this it's fake phony baloney and f false facade energy here okay so that's what i have for you pisces you could be dealing with an aries leo sagittarius pisces cancer scorpio virgo taurus capricorn or gemini libra aquarius thank you bye